Welcome to the small bead frame doing subtraction, static and dynamic. Let's do a static problem first. Uh, I want to remind you that these beads here represent the golden beads that started everything. That one unit, if you have 10 of them together, creates a 10 bar. And if you have 10, 10 bars, you have 100 square. If you have 10, 100 squares, then you have 1,000 cube. And those are represented here on the bead frame. These are the units. These are the tens. These are the hundreds. And these are the thousands. And then we have our paper over here. We've been using the same piece of paper. And when I come up with a new problem and record it down, I just put a line in. We're going to do a static problem first. That means we're not going to be bar uh, borrowing from the next column over. And it really is a thoughtful process to take and do like four or five static problems so you, you get through the process and understand how it works. Let's write this down. We have eight thousands, four hundreds, six tens and seven units. So we have eight thousands, four hundreds, six tens, and seven units, minus three thousands, four hundreds, two tens, and four units, minus three thousands, four hundreds, two tens, and four units. Okay, in subtraction, we lay out the first one, and we're going to do, let's see, seven units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. Six tens, let's use this, six tens. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, four hundreds, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, and eight thousands, one thousand, two thousands, three thousands, four thousands, five thousands, six thousands, seven thousands, eight thousands. Now we're going to remove, subtract the next numbers. So we're going to take away four units from seven. One, two, three, four. And we're going to find out how many remain. One, two, three. All right, let's record that answer. Three units remain. Now we have six tens. We're going to take two tens away. One ten, two tens. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens remain. We have four tens remaining. Now we have four hundreds and we're going to take away four hundreds. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundreds. I have no hundreds remaining. That is a zero. Now I have eight thousands and I'm taking three thousands away. One thousand, two thousands, three thousands. Let's find out how many remain. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousands. Five thousands are left. All right, so that was a static problem. We didn't have to exchange to take away or subtract. So now we're going to do the dynamic one. First, we're going to record it. We need to create a space between our 
problems. You can make it as fancy as you want. I just chose to do that. All right, so now I'm going to write that we have 8,700s, four tens, and two units. 8,700s, four tens, and two units. And then we're going to subtract 4,200s, five tens, and three units. 4,200s, five tens, and three units. All right, let's get that first number out. Let's see, we needed two units. One, two, four tens, one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, seven hundreds, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. 500, 600, 700. So that's 700. Now we're up to 8 thousands, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8 thousands. And let's start subtracting. Let's see. So we run into a problem right away. We have two units, but we need to subtract three and find the difference. So now you have to remember that 10 bars are created with units. So I know there are 10 units there and there are 10 units that are on each bar, so I'm going to trade. First, I'm going to subtract as many as I can. One, two, and I'm gonna trade, watch this. Three. I'm gonna do that one more time, okay? Are you ready? So there we are, here's our original group. I need three, and I'm gonna subtract. I'm gonna do a trade. So I'm going to go one, two, three. Now I get to find the difference. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The difference is nine. We're faced with the same dilemma. We needed four tens, and we already borrowed one. And then we need to remove, take away five more tens. So let's count what we've got so far. So we have one ten, two tens, three tens. I'm gonna trade. Four tens, five tens. Did you get it? You can put it back. Let's try it again. So we need to take away five tens. Let's try that again. One ten, two tens, three tens. Now I'm going to trade. four tens, five tens. And now I can find the difference. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens, eight tens. So the difference is eight tens. And now I have seven hundreds and I need to remove two hundreds. One hundred, 
200. And the difference is 100, 200, 300, 400. And I have eight thousandths. And I'm going to take away or subtract four thousandths. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. Let's see how many remain. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. Four thousands. All right. So I had eight thousand seven hundred and forty-two. And I subtracted 4,253. And the difference was 4,489. Thank you for watching how to do subtraction with the small bead frame.